Hello everybody and welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2, where in today's episode we are going to be um, getting to 15,000 and then the next episode we will be buying our very own truck. So... is way down here. Just need something cheap. Actually, let's just go by lowest route length. And then, at, actually, you know what? At the end of this episode, we'll buy a truck. So this is the shortest route. So we'll do this, and then at the end of this episode, we'll buy a truck. Because in the last episode, we didn't end up with enough money to buy our own truck, and that was my fault. So to make up for that, we can just do it at the end of this one instead of making you guys wait to the next one, another full three days. So, we won't be doing that. Oh. Guess I should probably start it. Nope, didn't mean to do that. I don't know how I've already forgotten all the controls, so that's not it either. Uh, nope. Aha, found it. Okay. Figured it out, guys. Don't worry. Okay. Well, I guess we can go ahead and turn. Uh, I knew that was gonna happen. All right. Well, oh my gosh, this is a double trailer, really? I didn't realize that. Gosh dang, this is gonna suck. Can we pull out this way at all? What, what? We go from 85 kilometers an hour and a half to 82 kilometers an hour and a half. So it takes the same amount of time, but it's a shorter distance. Isn't that funny? Yeah, we're gonna have to make some really, really wide turns in this thing. Hopefully there aren't that many turns in general because, uh, not sure how well they're gonna go in this thing. If we're being honest here. You know, I enjoy driving in first person more, so that's what I'm gonna do. However, I'm not going to subject you to the pain of having to listen to that at full volume, so I'll lower it some. Here, I just ended up lowering it in OBS, so that should make it a bit better. Still may be too loud. I hope not. This is honestly a lot better in first person. I, I don't know why I don't always drive in first person, I guess. I always thought the videos would look better in third person, but... This is what I prefer, so this is just how I'm going to record it. Gosh dang, that is still really loud. I'll save your ears a little bit more. Not sure how loud it actually is. Maybe it's the perfect amount. Just let me know. I'll always change it up based on even what one comment tells me, because one comment is more than zero comments. So, if you really wanted to troll everybody else, you could tell me to just set it at max, even though it's... Or, as high it was, as high as it was, even though it was, you know ear-destroyingly loud if you do I mean, I'll probably do it, I'm just saying. Anyway. Gotta slow down. We have a green light. Uh, we're gonna go into third person for this one, actually. Okay. That actually went surprisingly well. Out of the way! Just kidding, there's no one. Speed. Speed is key. Oh, that's so cool, they added the echo. That is awesome. That is so cool that they did that. Thank you, developer. Oh, that was a really cool touch. Oh, this thing has really good brakes. I thought I was going to have to, like, swerve to the right and bust through the traffic light and everything, but no. I 
Hello, fellow truck. Guess I should get, like, actually within the lines. You know, getting in these, you know, uh, I don't know why I keep saying, you know, getting in these engagements where you're super close to another truck and they're right beside you or some cars, it's honestly really difficult because I, it's so hard to gauge, like, how close they actually are to you. And then looking at the mirrors, you know, distracts you from the road, so you can't really see what's going on, and it's a whole thing, but... Anyway, we're 30 kilometers out, half an hour in game. Really suck if it was a half an hour in real life. I could do a super long job driving like this. This is honestly great. And that's how I started doing my American Truck Simulator series, is that I'll do longer jobs just split up into a few different episodes, which actually I guess I just spoiled that, didn't I? I have four more American Truck series, uh, Simulator series episodes recorded and they are going to be coming out at some point uh, I'm not exactly sure when I'm gonna be honest um, but in those I've started splitting up larger jobs into multiple parts and I just kinda gave myself a little bit of a fresh start without actually restarting the game I uh, gave myself some money through a loan then I did a couple jobs repaid that loan and now we're sorta of back to the point before where I've been more careful I've been better about obeying the laws and everything and I've been doing it in a style I more so enjoyed which is driving in first person a bit more realistic and just how I like it what 100 I guess we crashed into that one car anyway it's fine and uh, it's just made it more enjoyable for me so I'm gonna start driving in first person in this one too and uh, probably longer jobs split up in a couple different episodes but that's just how I like it so that's just how I'm gonna do it and uh, You know, if, if my views drop, then that's okay. I mean, some people aren't going to like some things, other people are going to love others, and that's everyone's entitled to their opinion and what they prefer and what they like, and that's perfectly okay, and I don't mind that at all. So, And you can, of course, 100% share that with me in the comments if you want to, or anything. And I will read them. I read every comment. I respond to every single comment. And I will on my channel for as long as I possibly can until I'm getting... Which, if my channel ever does get to that point, if I'm getting thousands and thousands of comments per day or per week, then uh, maybe not. But I will still at least try to read as many and respond to as many as I can. I, I promise. I will be baking through those things. Okay, I'm going to be like, thanks so much, you know, thanks for your appreciation. I will be going, okay? I'm gonna try to... I'm gonna try to be that YouTuber that everyone talks about. Like, he has, a, you know, 4 million subscribers, but he still responds to almost every single comment he gets. Well, that was kind of my fault. But, you know, we're gonna pretend it was that person's fault, so... How dare they, you know... It's really just horrible of them. Why would they do that intentionally? Looks like we're almost here, though. And even hauling this double trailer actually wasn't very bad at all. We're gonna straighten out, and then... We have to make what's not actually really a tight turn, but is kind of a tight turn, just because of how large this trailer is. And I'm not going to park this thing at all, I'm just going to let them take care of it, so. We're just going to skip that. But anyway, hey, look at that. We got our money, and we're only level 2, but that's fine. And now we get to buy a truck. But, of course, trucks are expensive, and we don't have a ton of money. So we are going to get a $100,000 loan. Um... And hope that's enough to buy a truck. So we have Volvo, Renault, Trucks, or Scania. This feature is for trust customers. You need on at least five trucks before you can buy online? Dang. Yeah, we'll go visit them in person, I guess.
So it looks like we have the first two options available for Volvo. Mostly care, care, mostly care about horsepower. These trucks don't actually have any differences other than the fact that they're obviously different body styles and but it looks like everything about the engine is actually completely the same. So these ra uh, rank in at 420 horsepower, 1400 RPM, 420, 1400, 420, 1400, 420, 1400 for Volvo, 420, 1400, 380, 1400, another 380, 1400. So Renault trucks is out. They have slightly higher RPM. But that's not actually what I'm looking for. I'm mostly looking for the horsepower. Sacrificing 40 horsepower for 50 more revolutions per minute. Not, not a deal I'm willing to make. 360 for 1300. So that's the worst of them all. Yep. I should have known Volvo was going to be the best. I should have known. I hope I have enough money. I haven't actually, I haven't really actually been looking at the truck prices. So. Let's visit that selected dealer. Oh yeah, we have enough for that one and for that one. And I like the style of this one more, so I'm I'm gonna get that one, despite the fact that you know it's a little bit a little bit silly. So I mostly care about you know different engine. Um. Ah, there's not quite enough. I don't have quite enough money. Oh no. I'm gonna have to do what I didn't really want to do. <sighs> okay, how much money am I gonna need in total? Alright, so that's what I want. Um, these look exactly the same to me. 12 speeds. Oh, this one has a retarder. I don't actually know what that means. But... Looks like it's better, so we're gonna get that. Oh, so that changes which side you drive on. So do most people actually drive with the steering wheel on the left? And then it's just weird UK people that drive on the right? I don't know. I actually really like this deep aquamarine color. And also it'll save money, I think, so. We're just gonna stick with the deep aquamarine. But it looks like that, unfortunately, we need 122, 630. So we'll chalk that up to 133,000. So now we know we need $123,000 in total before we are able to purchase the truck we want. So in the next couple episodes, we will be getting that money. Probably, yeah, because that's $7,000. And we probably want to do maybe an $8,000 job in total just to cover any thing that might go wrong oh that's the wrong order so it turns out the cheap the most expensive job is actually not that much money giving that much money at all so that kind of sucks but maybe whenever I record the next episode because I'm gonna end this recording session here then we'll um, have some higher higher paying job offers but for now uh, that's all we're going to be doing. So I thank you very, very much for watching this episode. And if you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe. Bye.